Okay, day four of Volcanoes. We're on page 166, and we're on the section called Hawaiian Islands. Capital H A W A I I A N Islands, capital I S L A N D S. Some volcanoes form away from plate edges at hot spots. A hot spot is an area in the interior of a plate where a rising plume of hot magma escapes Earth's crust. So it's not where plates are meeting, but there is a hot spot, a plume of magma underneath the plate, down here in the mantle, that's able to push its way up through the plate and erupt onto the surface. If it's underwater, then you get an underwater volcano. And if it keeps building and building and building over time, eventually it can pop up through the ocean and look like an island. And that's what Hawaii is. It's a whole chain where this plate is moving that way, so all those islands are moving that way. The Hawaiian island chain is a series of volcanoes with their bases on the ocean floor. They formed as the plate carrying them moved over a mid-Pacific hotspot. Okay, so the Hawaiian islands, there was a hot spot, H-O-T, spot, S-P-O-T, right? The plate moves, P-L-A-T-E, moves, M-O-V-E-S, over, O-V-E-R. So that makes it a chain, C-H-A-I-N, slash, or series, S-E-R-I-E-S, of volcanoes, V-O-L, C-A-N, O-E-S. Okay, so the Hawaiian Islands is a result of a hot spot and the plate moving over it. It's a chain or a series of volcanoes. The oldest islands, or the first formed, are in the northwest corner of the chain. Those are the islands closer to Japan. As the plate moved, each volcano eventually moved away from the hot spot. A new volcano began to grow east of it. So these islands over here are actually the oldest that formed millions or even billions of years ago. And as the plate moves and the islands move, that hot spot seems to be more and more to the east. Today, the only recent activity, Hawaii, the only recently active Hawaiian volcanoes, Mauna Loa and Kilauea, are on the island of Hawaii, the largest and youngest island of the chain. Okay, so Hawaii as a state is all of these islands together. Hawaii the island is this big one over here. It's called the Big Island or the Main Island. Um, there's others like Oahu, Kauai, Maui, but this one is the island of Hawaii. Okay, now, it's the largest and youngest. Okay, well, why is it the largest and youngest? Well, it's the youngest because it's the most recently formed. And maybe it's the largest because it hasn't had as much weathering and erosion. So maybe these islands out here are the smaller because they have been weathering and eroding over time. So, quote, big, capital B-I-G, island, capital I-S-L-A-N-D, of Hawaii, capital H-A-W-A-I-I, -I, indented, largest, L-A-R, G-E-S-T, and, down three down, youngest, Y-O-U-N-G, E-S-T. And why is that? Well, not, N-O-T, as, much, M-U-C-H, weathering, W-E-A-T-H, E-R-I-N-G, or erosion, E-R-O-S-I-O-N. So the Big Island of Hawaii is the largest and youngest, probably because it hasn't had as much weathering or erosion. Okay, this island is actually made of five shield volcanoes that have grown together. The island is still over the hot spot, but is moving away. So as things have been moving slowly and slowly, there are actually five shield volcanoes right next to each other, so close to each other that it looks like one big island. Fed by magma from the hotspot, a new volcano is emerging southeast of Hawaii. It is named Loihi. In time, Loihi will break through the ocean's surface and become the newest island in the Hawaiian chain. <coughs> okay.
building islands. The Hawaiian Islands consist of a series of shield volcano, shield cones that extend from the floor of the Pacific Ocean to well above the surface. Okay, let's add that part. Um, still indented because we're talking about the big island. Five combined C-O-M-B-I-N-E-D quote shield. S-H-I-E-L-D. Okay, and if we remember what shield volcanoes are, shield volcanoes have the gentle slopes, layer upon layer of lava. And uh, Mauna, Loa, Mauna Loa was the example that they gave us, which is one of the Hawaiian Islands. Okay, um, as the crust continues to move over the magma plume, new mountains form. Okay. How do the islands of Hawaii compare to volcanoes on land? Okay, well, the Hawaiian islands are the same as volcanoes on land because, well, they're volcanoes. The magma erupts through the surface and builds a volcano mountain. But the Hawaiian islands are different because they're forming out in the ocean instead of on land. And it's from a hot spot rather than from subduction zones where plates are coming together. So let's make sure we say that over here, right? Hot spot, rising, R-I-S-I-N-G, through T-H, R-O-U-G-H, um, ocean, O-C-E-A-N. So the hot spot is actually rising up through the ocean. The mountain is building under the ocean and eventually gets tall enough to peek through the water. All right, let's get our yellow highlighter. Let's do our visual summary, okay? Most volcanoes form at plate boundaries. Let's go back in our notes and see where did we say that. Most volcanoes form at plate boundaries. Volcanoes and plate tectonics, right? Convergent plate boundaries, okay? Volcanoes are especially common along the edges of the Pacific Ocean a region called the Ring of Fire. So, the Pacific Rim or the Ring of Fire is very important. Why? Well, the magma is rising up through cracks that are created. Let's see, anything else? Um, okay, let's keep going. Volcanoes are locations where magma reaches Earth's surface. Magma reaches Earth's surface. Okay, well, magma Becomes lava at the Earth's surface and builds a volcano. All right, that's important. What about over here, classifying volcanoes? Uh, nope, not that yet. Okay. Three common types of volcanoes are cinder cone, composite, and shield. Okay, the three types. So we have cinder cone, composite, shield. Okay, what's important about them? Well, the cinder cone is the one that's usually one eruption and it's basically all rock and ash. The composite is the alternating layers, and that's because some thick lava will trap gases, so you'll get a violent eruption, right? That's because pressure is building up. Okay, so composite is alternating layers. The reason why is you have thicker lava that's trapping gases. The gas builds up pressure, and eventually you get a violent eruption. The shield volcanoes are just thin lava flowing. So you get very smooth, gentle slopes. Okay. Next up, a volcanic eruption can change the natural environment and human habitats. Okay, changes the environment and habitats. Changes the environment. Let's see. Changes landscape. We have that. Okay. Uh, Hot lava and ashes can scorch anything they contact. Okay, so they're very hazardous, right? Over time, they enrich the soil for new life. Weathered lava is very fertile soil. Okay, they don't mention it in here, but I think that the active, the dormant, and the extinct are also important because that's how we talk about whether a volcano is dangerous or not. What about over here in California's volcanoes? I think all that's really important to know is 
yes, we had volcanoes, um, but we haven't really had much activity since ooh, the early 1900s with Lassen Peak. And Shasta has been dormant for about 200 years. As far as the Hawaii Islands go, it's important to know that you have a hot spot rising through the ocean. And basically the islands are a chain or a series of volcanoes. Okay, let's go back and look. None of our words here are highlighted. So we did talk about cinder cone. We did talk about a composite. Um, we didn't use the words island arc. Lava is important because that's when the magma erupts through the surface. So that's what a volcano is. And we did talk about shield. Okay, so that's all of our highlighting using the visual summary that the book already provides for us. Now, let's use the main idea and annotate the things that are even more important. Volcanoes form where magma reaches Earth's surface. So volcanoes forming, magma reaching the surface. Volcanoes forming, magma reaching the surface. So magma reaches surface. Okay, well a cinder is a kind of volcano, composite is a kind, and shield is a kind. And when magma reaches the surface, we call it lava. So all of four of those vocabulary words are important. Okay, when magma reaches the surface and becomes lava, it builds a volcano. Let's go ahead and write that with our red pen here. Surface, S-U-R-F-A-C-E, and above that reaches R-E-A-C-H-E-S. So when magma reaches the surface, we call it lava, and that's building volcanoes. Let's see. Um, talking about plate tectonics, yes, there are a lot of convergent plate boundaries around the Pacific Rim or the Ring of Fire, and that's why we have so many volcanoes in our area. Um, how does an eruption happen? Pressure can build up and cause an eruption. But I think we'll talk about that when we talk about each of the three types of volcanoes that are forming. So, cinder, composite, and shield, right, which we already annotated as part of our vocabulary words. Okay, we're going to have to say specifically what is a cinder cone volcano. It's mostly rock and ash, and it usually happens from one eruption. A composite is alternating layers, and that's because you'll get thick lava that traps gas, causes pressure to build up, and then you'll get the violent eruption. Shield is uh, very gentle slopes because it's mostly just thin layers of lava. Um, let's see. Even though it's nice to know what active, dormant, and extinct are, it doesn't seem to really go with volcanoes are when magma reaches the surface. Right, we already talked about the three types, so we're just going to leave that for now. Um, we should, probably should say something about it, the effects, because that was a big chunk of the visual summary. So we'll say something like how volcanoes can be hazardous, they can change the landscape um, in bad ways, you know, destroying habitats, but also in good ways, providing fertile soil. And then, because we live in California, we should basically just mention that, yes, there are volcanoes in California, but they've either been dormant or inactive for a long time. Hawaii is important, but at that point we're getting really long, right? We've already got all of this information about reaching the surface, about the Pacific Rim and convergent plate boundaries, pressure building up. We're going to have to write probably three sentences total, one for each type of volcano. We'll end up talking about the effects, and we'll end up mentioning that California has volcanoes. So at that point, it's probably just going to get too long. Maybe, maybe we'll mention that the Hawaiian Islands are a chain or a series of volcanoes. So we'll put a question mark next to that. If we feel like we want to include it, we can. If we feel like it's getting way too long, we won't. Okay. 
I think that's it for today then. We highlighted a whole bunch of stuff. We annotated the most important things that we want to put in our paragraph. Yes, we left a few things out. For example, the active dormant extinct. So that's not gonna end up showing up in our paragraph. All right, good job persevering with a growth mindset and Royal Wildcats. Mm -hmm.